What's up to all those alone in the zone? Just the one performing magic with the graphics. John Eli Lopez back once again on a mission to get you one step closer to being the king or the queen of the pencil. And today, I'll be discussing tips and tricks for drawing feet. If you'd like to follow along, all you would need is a pencil. Make sure you have your sharpener and eraser handy and paper. Okay, let's get started. No one enjoys doing feet or hands because they are definitely challenging. But once you start breaking those things down into its simplest forms, it should, uh, you know, get a little easier for you. So one thing to definitely consider and pay attention to is the ball of the foot and the heel of the foot. Once you understand where those things are placed and the movement of them, it makes your life much easier when you are drawing feet, all right? So everything after that is down to details and placement. So don't let uh, the other stuff of the foot throw you off. Pay definite attention to those two things, all right? So as you are drawing the feet, you know, whatever position it's in, Try to gather the basic shape down. And keep in mind that the top of the foot uh, usually curves upward a bit, right? So we're gonna move on. I'm gonna draw a couple of uh, different positions of a foot and hopefully it helps you guys out. I'm gonna take you through the three stages of drawing feet, right? So make sure you get the overall shape down and the placement of the ball and the heel and usually the big toe. Every other toe flows behind that. We're doing average feet. You might meet some people with some jacked up feet out there, all right? We're doing average. Everything I do here is average, all right? So this uh, first position here, the foot is arched up. It's not fully tiptoed, but it's arched up, right? So get the basic position out. Make sure you have the position where the big toe is gonna be, if it's seen. And then you come and start breaking down the other toes, right? And once you have that down pat and you're comfortable with that, then you come back in and you add your details and separate the toes, toenails, the ankles, you put those type of things in, right? We're not going to get into too much shadow and shading because that's a whole nother skill level. But the skills we're covering today is definitely making sure you draw realistic looking feet. Right? So as we move through, as I said, this one is showing more of the bottom of the feet. But once you make sure of the position of where the big toe is going to be, the other toes, you can make them all one basic shape. Right? And then you break them up separately. Right? That makes your job much easier, all right? It, you definitely wanna look and use a lot of reference material when you are doing feet. And pay attention to the ankles. The outer ankle appears lower than the inner ankle. So sometimes that can throw you off too, but once you pay attention to that, as you see, uh, this one is uh, aiming forward where you can see a little bit of the heel back there. The toes are separated after, then you come in and you put your toenails and keep in mind that uh, the top knuckles, that's where you really can add the bend in the toes. To secondary uh, knuckles, some people do have claw feet, as I said before, but you know, you don't have to uh, exaggerate those much or they're usually not as curved as the top ones, right? So just keep that in mind also, all right? So you break the basic shape down, have the direction of where that big toe will be, and uh, definitely, 
You want to put that knuckle on the side of the big toe. Make sure you know where that's at if it's in your direction. All right? So in all of these, I make sure and I'm having the ball and the heel. And you're paying attention to how all those things pay um, play off of each other. All right? And there you go. Even though it's all different positions, they all... I break them all down into three basics. The overall shape, then you separate the toes in the detail, and then you add the final touches to it. And that's where you get darker and you get more confident with your line, right? And as I said before, the top of the foot usually bends up slightly and it is rounded, right, on the top of the foot. Keep that in mind also, and to make your life easy, you could add a line that accentuates the curvature of the top of the foot and the direction of the toes. That'll help you in where to place the knuckles and also the toenails themselves, and little accent lines and shadows once you're getting into the shading and things of that nature. So we're gonna end with this more intricate shape with showing the bottom of the foot. Still have the line to accentuate the top of the foot. So remember, no, no matter what direction the foot is in, you can pay attention to where things are placed and what you are seeing. And hopefully that helps you with your entire layout. All right, and there you have it, guys. My feet are done. Looking very nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, got some value from it. If you did, stomp on that subscribe button, hit the like, leave a comment. Any feedback is appreciated. So until next time, John Eli Lopez signing out. Y'all be good and be safe.